kamalagang properties ng uh, addition at subtraction ng mga matrices, eh, kailangan alam nyo na parehas ang order ng matrix number 1 at matrix number 2 bago nyo i-subtract or i-add yung dalawang matrices na iyan. So, kailangan, kailangan yung tandaan na mag will work lang yung addition and subtraction ng mga matrices kapag parehas sila ng sukat. So, for example, number 1, we have matrix A plus C. So, meron tayo ditong given 4 matrices. We have matrix A, matrix B, matrix C, and matrix D. Kapag in natin si matrix A at matrix C, since parehas sila ng order, which is a 2 by 3 matrix added to another 2 by 3 matrix, pwede natin i-combine si A plus C through addition. So, napakasimple lang nung rule ng pag-add ng matrix. Kailangan nyo lang i-add yung entry 1-1 dun sa A3, I mean entry 1-1 dun sa second matrix para ma-add nyo yung matrix A and C. So, ibig sabihin, kapag in natin si A and C, 2 plus 4 is equal to 7, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So, ito yung ating first row. Yung ating second column naman, tulad nung ginawa natin sa first row, 4 plus 6, which is 10, 5 plus negative 7, which is negative 2, 0 plus 4, which is equal to 4. So, yung ating sum ng matrix A and C is a 2 by 3 matrix given by this entry. Now, yung ating second example, kailangan naman natin isubtract C matrix D at matrix B. So, D minus B, since para sila ng size or ng order, which is 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2. So, 3 by 2 matrix added, subtracted to another 3 by 2 matrix is possible given by the property. So, pwede natin siyang E minus. So, if we have negative 3 minus 2, it will give us negative 5. Negative 1 minus 1 gives us negative 2. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. 5 minus 3 is positive 2. 9 minus 0 is 9. And 8 minus 1 is 7. So ito yung ating 3 by 2 matrix by subtracting matrix D and matrix B. Now yung ating third example naman, kailangan daw natin i-add si matrix A at si matrix B. Now alam natin na yung order ng ating matrix A ay 2 by 3 at yung ating matrix B ay 3 by 2. So hindi siya pwedeng makombine. So yung ating number 3, yung sum ng matrix A at sum ng, I mean sum ng matrix A and B ay null or empty kasi hindi siya, na, hindi siya posible na pagsamahin. So, yan yung addition and subtraction ng ating matrices. Now, isa pa sa mga applications or operations ng mga matrices ay yung scalar multiplication. Ito yung pag-multiply ng constant sa labas ng matrix para i-distribute doon sa bawat entry ng ating matrix. So, we have here matrix A, which is a 1 by 3 matrix. Matrix B, which is a 2 by 2 matrix, C, which is another 1 by 3 matrix, and matrix D, which is a 2 by 2 matrix. Yung ating first example, kailangan daw natin i-evaluate or simplify C3A. So, ito ang tinatawag na scalar multiplication. At to simplify 3A, is a substitute or distribute lang natin C3 sa bawat entry ng ating matrix A, which is 3, negative 1, and 4. So, 3 times 3, is 9, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So 3a is equal to 9, negative 3, and 12, which is also a 1 by 3 matrix. Now for example number 2, meron tayong scalar multiplication ng 2b minus matrix D. So yung ating b ay 2 by 2, at yung D ay another 2 by 2, so pwede natin siyang isubtract. So, unan what natin gagawin is to uh, simplify yung ating scalar multiplication, distribute 2 to matrix B, and you'll have 6, 0, 2, 10, minus matrix D, which is 3, negative 1, 1, will give you 3, 1, 1, 9. So, ito yung ating second operation sa ating second example. Now, for the third example, we have negative 3C plus 2A. So, scalar multiplication dun sa ating matrix C at scalar multiplication sa matrix A. Since parehas sila ng order, pwede natin i-combine yung dalawang 
um, scalar multiplication nitong ating matrices. So we'll have negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, plus 6 minus 2a, negative 3c plus 2a is therefore equal to negative 3 plus 6 is 3, negative 6 plus negative 2 is negative 8, and negative 9 plus 8 is negative 1. At yan yung scalar multiplication na isa sa mga operations na ginagamit natin sa linear algebra.